I used to believe that manifestation is for lazy people. You know, you just sit on the couch all day and, you know, imagine your wonderful life. I don't have it, right? And I truly believe that only hard work can bring you results. And I achieved, yes, uh, I got some results in my life. But at some point, I burned out. And I started to look at science of achieving your goal, achieving your dreams. And I was surprised that science backs up visualization, manifestation, that basically those practices rewire your brain, create new neural connections. And there's such an amazing things in our brain, like reticular activated system that basically filter our lives to show us the things that are important to us. And those things that being like imagining, um, visualizing ourselves. The way, that's the way we show our brain what's important to us and it's filtered for us, so it's available to us to act on it. I truly believe we still need to step forward. I don't think the only visualizations and manifestations gonna change much our world. But given the space for this, for imagining, for visualizing, we basically connect with the world around us with those beautiful synchronicities, with you can call it coincidences, you can call it filtered information by your reticular activator system, whatever it is, this just become more available to us when we allow space for this. And that's a way to live. Not pushing, not like forcing, not burning ourselves out, but allow surrender. That's not a laziness. That's wisdom, that's biology, that's neuroscience, that's life. So today I invite you to pause and imagine that beautiful goal in front of you and create a space around you. Allow things happen to you. Allow that connection with others, with life around you and the most important with yourself.